हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पी देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी सो लेट स्टार्ट टू डे इन्फॉर्मेशन दीज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन दिन आर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग गो टू गूगल डॉट कॉम and search to naropinions.com and open this site here you can see the latest news dinar opinions and dinar guru updates on a single page so visit this site for more information there's a guy on tv saying iraqis have the possibility of purchasing any commodity electronically immediately you see their money can move in and out of their country now freely yeah there's no more restrictions Yeah. The same things are happening with goods and services. The census will count the population, housing, industrial and commercial establishments, agricultural land and infrastructure. Displaced persons and refugees will not be included in the account. It's scheduled for November 20th, 2024. It will be accompanied by a 2-day curfew in all Iraqi provinces. Article: Trump wants to meet Sadani soon, quote. US President elect Donald Trump expressed his desire to meet with Prime Minister Mohammad Shia Al Sudani soon according to a statement from the Prime Minister's media office on Friday November 8 2024 Al Sudani made a phone call Friday with the US President elect Donald Trump in which he expressed his congratulations to the president and the American people on the occasion of winning the elections and the great confidence that the American people have given him Television programs have been raving about his achievements over the past 2 years. It's hard not to excited when the screen lights up with praise for someone doing great things. But hold on a second. Remember Shabibi's words from years ago? He said that for a rate change in Iraq, stability and security were essential. Is Sadani's success a sign of that kind of progress? Let's dive into this incredible story of transformation and what it really means for Iraq. As we start exploring the impact Sadani has had, let's remember where Iraq stood before his arrival. The country has faced many challenges, from security issues to economic downturns. When Sadani took office, the question on everyone's mind was, could he bring positive change? Firstly, let's talk about his economic initiatives. Sadani has implemented several projects aimed at boosting Iraq's economy. For instance, his government focused on improving infrastructure which had been neglected for years these improvements are not just physical roads and bridges but also creating job opportunities for the iraqi people can you imagine what it must feel like for families who not long ago faced financial uncertainty now they have a chance to build a better future sadani also prioritized fighting corruption within governmental institutions This is significant because so many people have felt disenfranchised due to previous corrupt practices. He knew that for any change to be meaningful, trust needed to be restored between the government and its citizens. By promoting transparency and accountability, he fostered a sense of hope for many. Next, let's explore his impact on security. The security situation in Iraq has been precarious for years. Sadani's administration has worked diligently to strengthen security forces and collaborate with international partners. This is crucial because a stable environment is necessary for economic growth to flourish. Imagine being able to walk freely without the fear of violence on the streets. That's what Sadani aims to create for his citizens. Moving on, we can't overlook the significance of foreign relations. Sadani has made strides in reconnecting with neighboring countries and international allies. This engagement boosts investment opportunities and encourages tourism. Can you picture a bustling marketplace with both locals and tourists enjoying Iraqi culture? That's part of the vision Sadani is working towards. Now, let's get to the heart of the matter. What do these changes mean for currency rate shifts? With improved stability and security, There's a logical foundation for a currency shift in Iraq. When people feel secure, businesses thrive and investment pours in. This means the overall economy strengthens, potentially leading to a favorable exchange rate. But, we must be real, change takes time. 
Sadani's efforts are just the beginning of this journey. The road ahead may still have hurdles. However, if he continues on this path, the prospects are bright. The enthusiastic praise for Sadani on television reflects a collective hope for the future. It's important for viewers to be part of this dialogue. What do you think about Sadani's efforts? Do you believe he can lead Iraq to a better future? First, let's break down what electronic financial services actually are. These services include online banking, mobile payments, money transfers, and even cryptocurrency transactions. All of these options allow us to manage our money in ways that were almost unimaginable just a decade ago. Now, why is this increase in users so significant? Simply put, it reflects a massive shift in how we view and handle our finances. More people are discovering that doing their banking online is convenient, saves time, and often costs less. For instance, think about a busy parent. Instead of waiting in line at the bank, they can now check their balance, pay bills, or transfer money from their phone in a matter of seconds. This convenience opens up a world of possibilities. But it's not just about convenience. This growth in electronic financial services also points to a larger trend toward digitalization in our lives. With the rise of e-commerce and digital transactions, people are becoming more comfortable handling financial matters online. Additionally, the pandemic pushed many to explore these services out of necessity. Now that they've tried it, they often stick with it. Let's look at some statistics to get a clearer picture. In the past year alone, electronic banking and payment apps have seen user growth of about 30%. That's millions of new users exploring these platforms. But who are these users? They're not just tech-savvy young adults. Families, retirees, and even small business owners are embracing these technologies. Imagine a small local cafe that can take orders and payments via an app instead of relying solely on cash. That not only speeds up the process but also helps the business keep track of its finances better. Next, let's talk about security, which is a big concern for many. With so many people using electronic services, there's always the fear of hacking or fraud. However, financial institutions are investing heavily in security measures. For example, two-factor authentication has become standard, making it harder for unauthorized users to access accounts. In addition, many services offer real-time fraud alerts to keep you informed. But even with these measures, it's essential to be cautious. Always monitor your accounts and report any suspicious activity. Now, let's focus on the impact of this shift on the economy. With more people using electronic financial services, there's a boost to innovation in this sector. New apps and platforms are emerging all the time. Think about digital wallets like Apple Pay or Google Pay. They make transactions smoother and faster. Moreover, when small businesses accept electronic payments, they can reach more customers who prefer using cards or apps over cash. This accessibility can drive more sales and, ultimately, grow the economy. If you have thoughts or experiences about the changes in Iraq, share them in the comments below. As we wrap up this exploration of Sadani's impact, it's clear we are witnessing a pivotal moment for Iraq. The progress we see today is a testament to resilience and hope. Sadani's commitment to stability and security is not just about politics, it's about the lives of everyday Iraqis. Let's stay tuned to how this unfolds in the coming years. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up and share it.